Welcome to Dungeon... Oh, sorry, that was dumb. <laughs> uh, so, this is take two. We are going to um, uh, do the starter adventure uh, because our, all of our characters for the actual thing that we're doing haven't been rolled yet. And this is sort of a test run to teach you guys all the rules. Um, we've already done kind of one already. Already, already, already. Uh, but keep in mind... The world is open. You can do almost anything you want to do. Sex. Then I built an airplane. Uh, <laughs> for initiative. <laughs> what? <laughs> Plane fails. I, I did. Oh. Um, you are in uh, the world of. Say it out loud. World of Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. So that's the one. Dragonia. Dungeons and Dragons. Dragonia. You're in the Forgotten Realms. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Joel's uh, intro sure. was. Isn't that weird? Welcome to back to part two, maybe. Part two like, of part one of part two. I feel like it's weird that we exist in a place called the Forgotten. That's like kind of self-deprecating. Yeah, we remember it yeah. in terms of our own existence. What if you have right. no memory? Well, maybe you can justify it for your character. Well, it'd be like, like living in Lansing, Michigan. Oh, it's kind I, see, of the same. I see. Or Neverland with Never the Lost Boys. Uh, all right, so y'all ready to get, get started? Yeah. In the city of Neverwinter, a dwarf named Gundren Rockseeker asked you to bring a wagon load of provisions to the rough and tumble settlement of Fandolin, a couple of days' travel southeast of the city. Gundren was clearly excited and more than a little secretive about his reasons for the trip, saying only that he and his brothers had found something big, Ooh. and that he'd pay you ten gold pieces each for escorting his supplies safely to Barthen's Provisions, a trading post in Fandolin. He then set out ahead of you on horse, along with a warrior escort named Sildar Hallwinter, claiming he needed to get there early to take care of business. Whoa! Of the penis. You spent the last, uh, so. Um, all of you guys are sitting in an inn in Neverwinter, which is here on the coast. So, so real quick, when the first time you read that, were you like sitting in a bathtub with like rose petals? Kind of like I was in a leather, high back leather chair, mm -hmm. uh, holding my, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, so far. So all of your characters are here in Neverwinter. Oh, we here. introduce Gunsplaster. ourselves? Flies from the sky. We're gonna do that, yeah. Here. Put, um, Mm. Oh, yeah, that was I'm nice. Gonna scrape up oh, Joel's that's great. Why is that gonna do anything? It's metal. Pube forest. My name is. One, two, is three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. Don't introduce yourself yet. Yeah. Why? Why not? Because I haven't set the scene yet. All right. My character right now, wears a fedora. I'm just gonna do it for the video. Well, I know, but I, I need to set the scene, and then you can introduce your character. Joel's the dungeon master. The six of you <laughs> are together or individually. We'll figure this out. Sitting uh, at the uh, the end of the um, the. Is what we wait <laughs> oh, it's a mess. mental tapestry. It's yeah. like up there. <laughs> Some sort of building with <laughs> the end of the so like, velvet here? perineum. So we're all, we're all together. Uh, maybe or maybe not. You have to, you oh, have to so tell me. So you're, you're, you're all at this inn is in Neverwinter. Okay, yeah. So okay. is this our high school reunion? So <laughs> introduce yourselves yeah. and say what you're doing. Wait, wait, hold on. Is this us talking to each other? No. You're in character. Well, no, we I mean, have to determine that. Yeah, so using I say our yes. power of imagination. Yeah, oh, okay. using the theater of the mind, Bruce. Right. Ah, oh so gosh. a dude that's wearing a like a tight doublet that doesn't quite cover his big gut, and a little uh, a fedora with a feather in it, oh. and a book under one arm rolls up and he's like, "Good evening, gentlemen. I hope you are all looking forward to a, an educating adventure." Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you, do you Wait, do you punch him? What? Do yes. You punch this person. <laughs> I did. Uh, roll a. Uh, well, since you have advantage, roll two d twenties. Two d twenties. Surprise attack. She's a murderer. <laughs> These two, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, are they, are they both roll one d twenty twice. Yeah. He's roll. Lose hit points right away. Yeah, I don't have many either. Oh no! No, <laughs> use use that as a backboard. Use the little legs as a backboard. Yeah, but it's not good. Next gonna snap back. All right. right, that's an eight, and then roll roll again. That wasn't a very good roll. And then what's your strength modifier? And a, ooh, and a seven. Ooh, you break your fist on it. Um, what's my your strength, strength modifier? The one of the on one of my left. many chins. Uh, strength modifier is this top one. Yeah, plus top two. One. All right, so, and what's your AC? 12. Uh, so, so you had advantage because it was a totally a sneak attack. So you had an eight plus two is 10. His AC is, is 12. So you see a man stand up and attempt to punch you. Uh, but he must have been <laughs> drinking ale or something because yeah, he totally been, whiffs it. I was drinking a lot. He's what do you, what do you say? Hold on. Uh, uh, stay back. I apologize for my friend. What uh, a savage! <laughs> oh, my he's God! Not, he's not book smart like you. Uh, my name is Perry Taxnapper. Oh, Perry, so nice to meet a fellow man of education. 
Uh, I don't know if I'd say education. A fellow I, uh, man of, of intellect. Would you say you're myself. a man? I am definitely a man. Would you prefer to... A half-man, if you will. As you can see, I am a light-foot halfling. I did notice that because of my superior... Uh, intellect <laughs> perception, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to retire from all these uh, all these savages and read my book in the corner. Uh, let me know when we're ready to go. And I storm off in a huff. Go ready to go. Go, go where? Yeah. Oh, I thought we already knew that we no, were. No, no, we don't know. We're not a party yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 It's just it's see you, Lawrence. It's fine. just I mean, not my name. We're no, both no, 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 no. and I. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a reveal. Uh, <laughs> uh, Oh, then I, Delvin Brickleback, uh, Ooh, slump like back in back. <laughs> slump back into my seat as I want no trouble, for I am only passing through to get home for the spring of break. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a river? I don't, I don't know, man. The spring the break. Spring of the break of spring. Where all the comely lasses drink far too much mead and pop off their tunics. I'm, oh my gosh, I'm coming, yes, I'm coming home, and I, I don't really want to go back, and I'm just. Go back to where? Home. Where's your home? Uh, you don't have to reveal that. Oh yeah, that's later. Somewhere else! Yeah. Just walk away. <laughs> None of your business! Right, I'd so rather not say that out loud right now. As far you have two party members who are not interested in partying yeah, up with that's you. That's okay. I thought I'm, that was forgotten. So. I'm avoiding adventure at the moment, but <laughs> I'm down for whatever. Okay. Uh, so this guy just announces this to nobody at the, at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> what about Peek? Well, that's up to him. He's somewhere, we don't know. So, so, hey, so here's the thing. I don't think we can make it all the way to Fnan, Fnan, oh, Fnan, 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 Fnan. Yeah. I don't, I, I would thought I was a drunk one. The problem is, the problem is we need someone who's able to read. All right. Uh, and I think I that guy that you tried to punch Ooh, might be the perfect right, one. Right. What's your name? I didn't say. He hasn't said, oh, okay. so we're all gonna right. have to punch him. I'll, I'll, I'll be nice. I'll be I'll nice. Introduce Just myself. go introduce yourself. I'll introduce myself. All right, so I, I stand up, read my a little drunk. And also a little embarrassed because yeah. I, I took a swing and missed. It's and nice of you to at least be embarrassed. Away. Well, I walked, you know, like a little bit. So I walked up and I said, hey, I'm really sorry. My name's Reverend Crotch. And uh, <laughs> I, I uh, didn't mean to swing it to you. I, I, you know, the ale took over. I was wondering if uh, you'd like to take off, take a, go, go on a journey to Vandalin. To go to Vandalin. We're going to go with Perry Taxnapper or whatever your name is. Um, Hi. It's <laughs> uh, waving in the back. And uh, there is a possibility of loot. So I oh. Loot, you say? Yeah. Vandalin, you say? Wait, hold on. I'm oh. not talking to you. But we overheard. Yeah, they, they piped, they oh, piped yeah. up. We overheard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Keep your voice loot. down when you're talking yeah. to us. You I have Wait, a fine loot. Sir, oh, did he you? heard loot. He thought he meant the instrument. <laughs> I need loot. I have to loot, you say. Um, I'm Bill O'Brien. <laughs> oh, the same name. Wow, you went with the same Yeah, why not? So keep going. You're introducing yourself. I'm Bill O'Brien, and I have a fine loot. I'm looking for better and more loot. All right, what do you think? We just needed someone who knew how to read. Do you think we should I Bilbo? can read and I can sing. Fine, fine. Bring him. What were you going to say now? Oh, I was going to say, I overheard your simpleton about loot and <laughs> so, Riverdale. Yeah, are, right, where are you all going? Right, you're in the group. <laughs> cool. Right, I, the board. I, hey, you, you guys seem cool. You're in the group. And then, uh, oh, good sir, what is your name before next time I try to punch you? So, <laughs> so you can see that, like, the book that's open has a lot of like pictures on it, like crudely drawn imagery. And I like, I'm gonna ugh, close my book. I'm like, you don't need to know my name. Just keep me away from your vicious pugilism again. Ooh. And uh, and then I stand up and kind of brush my tunic down. Some breadcrumbs fall off of it onto my belly and they stay there. <laughs> uh -huh. And I'm like, I, I suppose we'll be moving on now. Okay. And I just kind of like waddle out to the door. Uh, so How are we supposed to move on if we don't know what his name is? He's like, you! Where are you going? You we got can. crumbs on your belly. <laughs> we'll call, we'll call belly him uh, crumb. crumb Belly. Crumb Belly. <laughs> crumb Belly. <laughs> Jonathan Crumb Belly. All right, Pete, what are you doing? Oh, well, hold on. Okay. I was going to say, on, on the way out, we're all, we're all walking out, and uh, I and Reverend Crotch uh, look back and I see that he's really, he's a really strong guy back there. Yeah. I see him tough. in the back of the bar. He's it's kind tough. of brooding. Yeah. Uh, you think we should get him? Yeah, yeah. So we push Pete's character aside. <laughs> you there, sir! Uh, would you like to join our party? And he immediately declines. Oh. So then... Instead, we take the, uh, this man. I don't know what you look like, but hey, fuck it. Come on along. What? What? You're what? not going to get any experience for that, Bruce, what? if you know that. What? 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 I, who are you, sir? I'm just a dock worker after work, drinking a beer, watching all of you say these things. <laughs> but uh, I worked as a porter, so I can drive your carriage if you need it, because I need money. 
What's your name? Oh, Mariatus O'Probbles. Mariatus O'Probbles. We, we yeah. gladly pay you tomorrow for uh, a porting today. Yeah. Would you like a loot? No. I thought you were looking for Just Neverwinter. Just go to the no. carriage. Okay, so uh, you guys are all um, here in Neverwinter, and um, oh, I have to read this now. Uh, so How come the nipples. So uh, yeah, so you go outside and you and you find that um, Gundren and Sildar Hallwinter uh, have arranged with the innkeep to give you a, a couple of oxen, a couple of oxen. Oh, crumb belly. We're <laughs> Classic crumb belly. Where's that flask? Where's it? Oh, there there is is a couple of oxen and a cart. That's your oh, cart. That's our cart. Um, Bear me. Yeah, can you grab me one of those two, please? What do you want? Oh, give me some. Not, not, not an IPA. Grab a couple for the road, yeah, bro. Are you? Are you? Wait. Are you? Wait. You, are you negotiating Perfect. with the innkeeper to bring a cask of ale with you Can on you the road? Road soda? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not so so crass as to drink alcohol. I treat my body better than that. What are you drinking now? Like sma- smashing. Says, says real ale. Smashing the fantasy equivalent of Cheetos in his mouth. What is a uh, fireman? Oh, it appears okay. to be a potion is, from here. That's just yeah, me the player drinking a beer. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, so you, you uh, so who's good. driving this cart? Cart? Me. Mary has no problems. No problems. I have proficiency in carriage driving or whatever. Uh, all right, and then yeah, <laughs> he crashes into the wall. I'm fine. Don't drink and drive. Who wants to a beer when I've got a beer next to me? Uh, so is anybody else on the cart with Mary? All right. I think I'm gonna walk. Come on. I'm, I'm in the back. I'm a halfling. Yeah, I have short legs. We're halflings. Actually, yeah, I'm also a dwarf, so I should probably be on the cart as well. Yeah, okay. Do you trust horses like that? It just, just seem like you're on the back, the two of you are sitting together? Yeah. Because you're halflings, you're talking about being well, dumb think, halflings I like together? I think that I'm sitting up front with Matt Peake playing music. I like to think. <laughs> I mean, he... There you go. So there. You like Marcy? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just... Oh, oh Probbles is just like... So, uh, I'm just rolling my eyes. I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. Do you songs to pass the time? No. Sing it. us with a song. Wait, one second. Hold on. I need to figure out. Uh, Lawrence, are you also on the cart? Yes. You think I'm going to walk? Come on. Jesus Christ. Jeez. Well, it's a cart. Why would we bring the cart unless it was to carry people? Uh, your crumb belly. Your food. Um, Brickleback, are you on the cart? Let me consult with Oprobles first. Uh, is there enough room for me? And uh, is there too much weight? I don't know. You're proficient <laughs> in this. I'm a proficient in driving. He like this before. No. He doesn't port. Uh, for the sake uh, of, there's, uh, you, you can there, put him if you want to. Oh, okay. There I, is enough room for all. Well, it's starting to look like a sausage fest, so just I'll watch, just kind of, just put me off to the side. Just right. watch our backside. Are you, are can you, I, can I be horseback? No, we, no. Damn it. No, the you, horses. Can. you can ride the oxen in the front if you want to. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, put me on the oxen. All right, you're going to feel the lash of the whip occasionally. Whee! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you're just in the way. Like a pony ride where someone is just guiding So you're, you're okay with, with feeling the lash of the whip occasionally. That's okay with you. That's fine. All right. So, <laughs> oh, these journeys take forever. All right, so <laughs> if only there was a song to pass the time. As you, we as go you. on adventure. We're going to go and. Dance Shut up, Bilbo! Fandolin, where the giant penis is. No, no, no. And lots of loot. Never mind! You were so much better. <laughs> that made time last longer. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it, <laughs> if, you had sung a good, if you had any XP at this point, I would have taken away XP for that Ooh, lackluster. Ooh, that's why it was a strategic song. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, you spend a few days trundling down the coast uh, until you get to the Tribor Trail. So let me do I think you used that word last time, too. Trundling. <laughs> Did James get experience for giving us Foley? Um, Adam, uh, you suffer one uh, point of damage for getting lashed with the whip for the last few Ooh, days. Sorry, sorry about that. But mentally, I'm in a good place. Yeah, that's fine, but yeah. you suffer one point of damage. Watch damage. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's good. That's, that's kind of him. Sorry, sir. Yeah, uh, my bad, my bad. Okay. Sorry, five minutes you. later. Uh, you spent the last few days following the high road south from Neverwinter, and you just recently veered east along the Tribor Trail. You've encountered no trouble so far, uh. but this territory can be dangerous. Bandits and outlaws have been known to lurk along the trail. Ooh. Why are we um, going that way? Blah, 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 blah. Because yeah. we, we have to go there and That's find out. Why don't we go through, like, the we Ten gold yeah, ten each. Gold. Um, as, you, as you travel, you realize the wagon is packed full of assortment of mining supplies and food, including a dozen sacks of... Oh, who cares about this shit? The, the total... Oh, she just oh, you tore have a, in half. You have shovels, picks, crowbars, Fancy. five lanterns, a small it's barrel of oil. It's a funny idea. Wait, wait, hold on. What do we have? Shovels, picks, lanterns, small barrel of oil. Okay. About 50 flasks in volume, and a total value of the cargo is about 100 gold pieces. Holy shit. You've been on the Let's sell the fucking Wait car. a minute. Yeah. 
It's your cart. Yeah, we can't sell a Porter's cart. It's his. No, it's, it's not, not his mine. Cart. It's Gundren's cart. Oh, oh. Gundren. These are the supplies that Gundren want you to bring to Fandolin. Oh. We're general. turning around. Because he's found something big there. Right. And he's paying right. each of you 10 gold pieces right. to get it there. But, right. if we, but we would get more than yeah, 10 if we, we just sold his stuff. No, you guys can't do math because you're fucking idiots. We get, we get right. 100 gold this is before math was invented. <laughs> no. no, no, no. It's, only 10. Only, it's worth 100 gold total. God damn. Right. Uh, On the oh. card. But when we get but there, he's going to pay. Split between seven people. It's, one, it's more than 10. Two. Yeah, it's like, what is it, 13? It's yeah, like, 13. So we're right. Yeah, except for the fact that then you'd be like the the... Well, if you, you want to steal the cart? Nah. No. Not in my nature. Eh. All right. Good. Eh. All right. But I want to explore my options. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so you've been, you're traveling along the Tribor Trail. We can't sell it anyways. We're in the middle of the forest. I'll sell it to you. There you go. Uh -huh. I don't have that kind of money. I just got um, As you come uh, along a bend in the road, you spot two dead horses sprawled about 50 feet ahead of you. <gasps> Oh, oh, Transformer. Oh, not the, no, not the horse. Not the golden compass. Um, Giant horses. Each of the horses has several black feathered arrows sticking out of it. The woods press close to the trail here, and a steep embankment and dense thickets are on either side. So the, the purple Dickens. marks show that the road is sunk below where the forest comes. comes in. So. Um, it's a little vaginal, Joel. Yeah, it's really super vaginal. Um, so you're all, except for Adam. Us to come in from here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> They'll get the other end. <laughs> and then we shoot out. We yeah. fire out. Hold on, I can fix this. I can fix this. You're all on the cart, except for Adam, who's on the oxen. Uh, and you see the these two dead horses about 50 feet in front yeah. of you. Yeah. Uh, what, oh, what, what, happens? what happens? What happens? What do you do? Uh, well, I guess I spot the dead horses. Because you're first, right? I'm first. And, uh, Is he getting whipped? Hey, hey, oh, Probles. Um... Some dead horse up there. Maybe we should stop. All right. I stopped the cart. You stopped the cart? All right. Thank you for stopping the cart. Like this guy. Uh, <laughs> and then, and then wait for it. Can you whip him again, though? Yeah. <laughs> ah! Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, I feel like we should investigate these uh, horses. So here's uh, anyone volunteer. I'm you just did. Wait, you know, you wait. the forest. Are you, are you, <laughs> are you, <laughs> wait, wait, burn it all down. Are you a rogue? Yeah. Why don't you go sneak over I there? Think so like, here's I was gonna say you. Go, I, I don't know what classes each of you are actually. So I'm a, I'm a cleric. Rogue one. Bard one. Fighter one. Fighter wizard. So cool. I think you and I. Me. I'll go with you. Okay. But we also need a warrior or a fighter. Or I'll go. So we'll, okay. I'm already I'm already in, like ready to go. I've been getting whipped for the last right. three and a half hours. I'll go up first and I'll check out the horses. You guys keep an eye around me. All right, okay. So, we'll, so, okay. so Joel, we'll flank. We'll flank him as he goes up the middle. We'll I'll him. keep my eyes okay. to the uh, port. And I'm doing my best uh, to just kind of blend into how, the background. And not how close do you get to the horses, yeah, Adam? On that uh, we are... A couple steps behind you, me. Tell me when to yeah. stop. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Get, get, get. And there! And then... Well, we all went together. All the way up to the horse. But, but make them walk wow. like that. But we're, we're flanking, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's how we walk. Well, you move, move What's real close. What's the point of sending a Rogan, then, if you're going to be there right with them? What does a rogue do? I'm gonna eat sneaks. Yeah, 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 I mean, I could have snuck in, but now I got a bunch of clanking and armor behind me, but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> no big deal. All right, so what do you do? Um, um, I want to investigate these horses. Well, see, check they, it out. Well, I'll keep an eye on the woods, I you, will. You already, you definitely see uh, that the saddlebags of the horses have been looted, and nearby lies an empty map case. Yeah. Well, adventure's over. Let's go home. Yeah. <laughs> All right, turn it around. <laughs> Sell this cart. <laughs> Here's a question. Should I... Obviously, something's happening here. Yeah. Should I move into the woods? To, should I move into the perimeter? You, you, should, get a, you should get a, a vantage point. Okay. And get up... You, you so have you're, a, you're what looking, weapon do you, you have? You guys are looking at the horses, right? Yeah. yeah. And you see the arrows. Well, yeah. he's yes. looking at the horses... Are you guys looking at we're, the woods? We're kind of like looking something? at the woods. All right, so, so the, two, the two of you are looking at the woods. You're not. We're, yeah. we're aware of what's happening in the woods. I, I would like both of you to roll a perception check, please. What do I roll? Okay. So uh, you right. roll a, a d20, and you add, not you, because you're not here looking at and you add your perception modifier. Okay. And wait, do any of you know Gundar, whatever? Yeah, I do. Uh, um, and you, so you recognize Gundren. These, Gundren's Gundren. my cousin. Yeah, so you recognize yeah. these horses are Gundrens and Hildars. <clears throat> gotcha. Okay. Yeah, you, so you know that these are their horses okay. and that they're dead. Also, nice. Nice. how far away is the You are blind. <laughs> the dead Gosh. You look huh? into this stuff. How, far, how, how much distance is there between? Uh, call it about 30 feet. Okay. 30 feet. That's not yeah, that much. Scale? Uh, 
All right, so I roll a three of my, it's plus no, three. No, into the mic, Lawrence. Because <laughs> I said 50 feet. Last few times I read the mic. Just, all right, so it up. what's your perception uh, uh, modifier? Plus three. So you have a perception of six. Okay. Please have a better perception than me. Holy what? shit! Yes, I can see yeah. all! Our second roll, or the third roll of the day okay. is a, a natural twenty. You okay. crit. So, uh, but Adam, but you, and you alone, your character of Bricklebat. Um, <laughs> Hello! <laughs> you, you gaze out into the woods, and you become somehow one with the trees. You're a warg! And you can feel what is right and what is wrong. And what is wrong that you notice, what is unnatural, is that... There's a silence in the woods. There are no birds chirping, um, which nobody else has noticed. And what you also notice is the exact location of five fucking goblins. Five fucking, fucking goblins. goblins. <laughs> 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 well, they're just peaceful. That's where all the birds, birds would get. Yeah, the birds would get out of there. Uh, he sees them instantly. Uh, this guy's just like, oh, oh nice day. <laughs> I'm just sitting there going, wow, unzip. <laughs> Ew. Get what? after it, guys. Plus, oh, so on either side. Yeah, five goblins in the woods. Two on this side, oh. three on this side. And because your perception was so amazing and you could feel what was going on, you also can perceive that these two goblins uh, have bows and arrows drawn, Ooh, okay. prepared That's to attack. That is not good. Okay. Like, what do like, you do? Like, what about goblins. those ones? Does he, not, <laughs> does he know what? that those ones goblins. aren't doing anything? Okay, uh, so and, well, no, I mean, the, these goblins have. Uh, Melee weapon. Oh, okay, uh, goblins on the left got melee. Try. Goblins on the right got arrows. Where are you, James? You said you went to a. I'm right there. He's right in front of you. What do you? What does your character do? Me? Well, I tell the guys immediately. It should be swapped. Um, do you whisper it, or do you like? I I quietly say. So, um, can I? Can they hear me? You mean the goblins? Can what, the goblins hear me? What do you? You don't know if the goblins can hear you or not. That's okay. Gotcha. Well, since goblins got those goblin ears, they do. Uh, they have good hearing. I I say loudly, well, look safe here. What? And then I say, oh. and I say we should, we should go back because there's nothing. Thinking here. to take you unaware is the goblins attack. Oh, I'm not done talking. You could have said goblins. Why did you shout? Why did you whisper to him? You might have also attacked. Just yeah. automatically attacked. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was going for. Oh, so, much, so much for that critical performance. I know, but you were like, what all goes Well, I was like, oh, well, no, I'm trying to let them know. It doesn't like, matter what you yeah, want I don't to know. do. I don't know if they're here. Well, it's fine, but then I'm like, oh, so I hope cool. they don't steal our 100 gold cart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so roll for initiative. So you all roll a d20 and add your initiative modifier. All of us? All of us. I need my dice back. Initiative. Uh, Joel's going to help you out. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna roll it over here so this camera. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 16. Whoop, whoop. So. Modify. Oh, okay. Initiative. Initiative. Yeah. Everybody? Yeah. So, yeah, so what. 21. Everybody, right, Joel? James, James got three. Yeah, everybody. No! Oh, All right, I'll take it. Yeah. Let's just go to order. I just hit the thing. That's okay. Whatever, I'll take it. 16 plus 3. It's 19. Good job. Abuya. What is that? 11. I, I think it's 16. Does mine say five? Uh, you say? you rolled a sixteen. What's your uh, three? Uh, so you have nineteen nice. two. We should. Adam, what do you have? I think eight. Ah. Eight plus. Thanks, Lawrence. No, no, I think total eight. Oh, I can't see. Does that say five? I can't tell. Five. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, and then uh, eight. Oh, who oh. rolled this twelve? No, no, no. You need to roll a d twenty, not a d twelve. Ooh, Ooh, that's good. Like, so you got what? a max. This yeah. is a d twenty. No, it's not. No, it's the bigger, the bigger one. The more. The one is a triangle. More polygonal one. This one? No. Nope. Triangle numbers. Yeah. This one. That one. Yeah, the most oh, faces. I haven't been rolling around dice, I think. Ooh. Well, that's probably why you're rolling so low. Well, well misadventure. Never no, mind. No, 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 no. All right. Suicide so <laughs> so so that 12. Still the same. So it's going to be the order of attack is going to be. James. Um, Spool and Matt, you guys can choose between you who goes first. You're a fighter, you go do things. Wait, yeah. no. But you I'm might want to buff him if you want to. It's up to you. I can inspire. Oh. Matt Peak, you're with me on the cart. All right. right. And then I got the guys over there. Okay. Uh, and, and then Lawrence and Bruce. Oh. oh, no, wait. You rolled an eight? Or I rolled a three. Oh, you're, so you're, you're last. There's so many so choices. So then Lawrence. Play. Yeah. Then Adam. You just okay. well, I have to go first. Bruce. All right, cool. Now the goblins last. Although, have the jump on you. They got the jump on you. I can boost. I could boost Bruce's saving throw. Right. I can boost either a saving throw or an attack. Can I borrow so a D20 from somebody? Can I borrow 
R O F U A. Oh, oh. Jeez. Oh, sure. Got it. Um, so first, the uh, archers attack. Um, they have disadvantage because they're undercover. They're they're shooting through the woods. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right. Uh, no, actually, quite the opposite. Uh, 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 this goblin attacks and just totally whiffs it. This goblin, <laughs> this goblin was distracted by the yell and by trying to attack you before you guys were able to do anything. So he shoots his arrow and uh, he totally misses and hits this goblin. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, He's like, yeah. damn it, Stan! That's yeah. an amazing shot. Uh, hits this goblin. And I, Does that one make a sound or anything? So we, I guess we, well, we already know. Well, no, we don't know. He's the only one that knows. Um, he, he never said anything about goblins. I was man. about to. You didn't, though. That's the thing. Well, now oh, we know because they shot. Man. We know that those ones are there. We don't know about those. That's uh, what I'm saying. Does that one make a sound? Yeah, like, cry can out? I not talk while any of this is happening? <laughs> yeah, that's true. If arrows go, he'll go, there's goblins! Yeah. <laughs> Arches to the right! We're assuming a lot of things. That's up to him. Uh, other goblins like, to the left. Well, that's what his character would do. Speaking doesn't take oh, it. Yeah. So, but once it's his turn, he'll be able to talk. Oh, cool. That's kind of he does, uh, so he, he, he actually hits this guy for two damage. Oh. Okay. So, does I'll that guy it. make a sound? Whoa! Did you see that arrow? And he just hears something like, ah! uh, This goblin is pretty pissed at those goblins, by the way. <laughs> he doesn't know which one hit him. Uh, these three goblins... Uh, <laughs> is he screaming or anything, then? <laughs> no, he just goes, yeah! Fucker. But he does uh, you actually hear him say, in common, fucker. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. Aha! See? These are things we gotta ask and clarify. Um, uh, these three goblins approach yes. and attack the closest target, which is... Is, is that one limping, or...? No, he's not limping. He's just... Is he a wheelchair? He's, he's just shot. He's just okay. shot. Uh, they attack the closest target, which that's Adam. Um, yeah. Where where did he get hit? Uh, he got hit in his side. Okay, so it's like whoosh, right there. Good to know. Um, so these three guys. Uh, question: Is yeah. it the same arrow that hit the horse? Uh, it's not sticking out of him. Yeah, like it and we don't we don't know. Oh, that. grazed. Yeah. No, well that's nothing. Um, all right. Sure, I, <laughs> I want details. Is that the same arrow? He, think, he thinks he can roll one d twenty. Uh, <laughs> this for this goblin um, is is still recovering, so he doesn't hit. Uh, what's your AC? Uh, which one is that? That's, That's the armor class. Uh, armor class. Uh, Seventeen. Okay. Um, okay. They both hit. These two guys hit. Um, one of them barely hits. Hit on Adam? Yeah, hit on Adam. Ooh, so, so. They're like, hey. I saw you're traveling through my woods. Nice stab in the side. Yeah. Ah, fucker! Oh, never mind. Good. Fucking mage over here has got his nose in a book. Yeah. There's a lot of spells. He's they, like, huh? Those guys are under attack. Uh -oh. Because they both attacked you, they hurt you. They do uh -oh. six damage to you. Oh wow! Oh, no. Each or total? Total. Oh, okay, good. What's your total? Uh, uh, total. Uh, I'm at eleven right now. So then minus another six. Uh, five. That's Bruce's. So, all right. Um, all right, cool. So that is the goblin's turn. Um, they are attacking, and they're not happy mm -hmm. that uh, that you guys are in their well, woods. Uh, back me up, bros, please. Um, it is James's turn. All right. So Wait, is it not me? What? No, it's me. I'm 21. Me. Just sing him a song. Uh, okay. So, hmm. I can... I'm going to kind of throw myself against one of the horse corpses, mm -hmm. like half cover, mm -hmm. but I'm really small. So it kind of, it, I have naturally stealthy, so I can attempt to hide when I'm obscured by a creature that is at least one size larger than me. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm hiding, Whoop. but then I'm also going to uh, shoot my are you, arrow. So, so because they're flanking you, who are you hiding from? Which, which horse I'm do hiding you? From, I'm hiding from that These side. guys, okay, yeah. so you're like, like this. Yeah. Are you peeking over the horse? No, no, no. And then from cover, I'm gonna shoot at the one that's already hurt. This guy? Yeah, Cool. with my short bow. All right, so roll for attack. You roll a d20 and you add your dex modifier, I believe? Come on, James. Ooh. Uh, plus three. Yeah, 15. you definitely hit him. So now you roll your attack damage. Uh, which is... 1d6 plus 3 piercing. Cool. 5 plus 3 is 8. Hold e on. Uh, once per turn when you hit a creature with a dexterity based attack uh, and you have advantage on the attack roll, you can deal an extra 1d6 damage to your target. You don't want to do you that right need now. need advantage right. if another enemy is... Yeah. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, this guy's already hurt, um, and what you do is you line up and look. You're a pretty good rogue, you know. 
This this is maybe like like you've never really maybe been, I don't know have you been in battle before? I've seen some shit. You've yeah. seen some shit. <laughs> what, right. What so, level are you? One. one. Oh, okay. <laughs> so like you, number one. You yeah. you've, you've yeah. hit maybe some bullseyes like in the training yard before. Um, Womp rats. You don't quite hit him in between the eyes. It goes like oh, into no. his mouth and into his brain, oh. but he's fucking dead. And then, uh, and then I go. Ah. Should have gotten it between the yeah. eyes. Yeah. Missed. <laughs> He's like this. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> First notch on the back. You're this dad. <laughs> wow. You stroked him out. Uh, Spool, you're next. Spool's turn. Who want to buff her? Well, can you heal? You're, you're, you're I'm hit. Oh, he's hit real hard. Remember, you're 30 feet away. Yeah. Also, Which may... Spool, <clears throat> uh, I have oh. a position of privilege. Did you know this? Uh, you, are you shouting this you have, Did you share this with him on the trip? Because you can't. No, but you should know this because it says, thanks to your noble birth, people are inclined to think the best of you. You can't just shout that to him when it's his turn. Hey! Wait, I'm of noble birth! Adam. Hey, Braggins! I want to make sure that also you subtracted that one hit point from when you were being hit by the whip. It's on there. All right, cool. Uh, so, so what do you, what do you so do? I kill you off. I know, he really uh, wants to be dead. Yeah, Except I have a little thing called I'm second gonna, win. I'm going to. I'm gonna did you hear heal, that, players? I'm gonna heal Adam because I saw him get. Take, what's what's take the range of your heal spell? I think it's sixty. Okay, you're good. Sing you're me right. a song you're of healing, good. noble. Yeah, no, it's fine. Dragons. It's fine. Go ahead, heal. Sing, sing it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Sing sing Is a song. It, sing a song of healing. I'm sorry. You're right. Dearest Adam. I am healing. That's not his name. My name is because your is name, name is, is Delvin. I'm, I'm, I'm healing the God Adam. He's the God Adam. Oh, okay. Dearest Adam, I need you to heal this man for he is noble of birth. I've heard he needs help because he had a sort of his anus. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll, I like the part where it all rhymes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> what lyric Five stuff. Right? Which spell are you casting? Or whatever. Uh, out this land. It was like healing breath or something. That's some bullshit. <laughs> healing word. And then we all go, boo! 60 feet instantaneous. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so um, roll 1d4. It's not healing at all. He's so just a d4 yeah. is a big triangle, something. yeah. He starts yeah. strangling me and with guitar wire. Roll it towards the camera so that the, the, the kids can see. Nice! A 3. And now add your spell a casting three. mass <laughs> modifier, which should be which probably is what? Charisma? Is that what it is for? Yeah, I think that's. Co- I think it's correct. It should, it should say on your sheet. Plus two. Wait, no. mine. Well, mine's handwritten. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you use your charisma. Who cares? Plus two. So you get healed for five points. Yes. Nice. Back, back on top. top. Baby's back. Uh, Enjoy that, Adam. I mean, Matt. Pete. Delvin. Delvin. Or uh, oh, Seamus O'Toole. <laughs> Mariotis. Oh, Probles. Mariotis Oh, Probles. Uh, I'm gonna shoot my longbow at. Uh. <laughs> Alone. Hmm. Oh. I'm gonna shoot it at. In the road, yeah. He's in the road. Yeah, they're both in the road. Yeah. They're on the road at this point. Yeah. Or the embankment. Hmm. They've come down the embankment. They like were like. Argh! They charged at you. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot it at that purple dude. Okay. And. Uh, he has a name. Yeah. So go ahead and roll your attack, which is a d20. Okay. 14. Nice. Uh, and what's, I think you're gonna hit, what's your dex, uh, dex modifier? Like Dexterity two three? is three. Okay. And then, so, do I get any, I have plus seven with longbow, does that count? Or does that, that's plus, the attack, Never mind. We have no plus seven on the attack, that's correct, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so 17 and seven, you, 24, you hit. Um, now what's the damage? One D six plus two? One D six plus two. One oh hang on. Blah 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 blah. One one D eight plus three piercing. Okay, so roll a eight sided die, which is the two sided pyramid. Hold on. Hold on. on Not it. that. No, that's a D twenty D ten. This one. No, oh, that's a ten. This thing? Yeah, the zero. Yeah, it's the guy. Good so roll that. Down. One. Ooh. Plus three. Four. Okay, so you do four damage to purple guy. Yay. Yeah, nice work. He's hurt. Not like, he's not like debilitated, but he's hurt. He's got an arrow in his thigh he's or something. Where his, like the point where his spine ends. Uh-huh. Yeah, right like, there. Right where it's about to send messages down to his legs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lawrence, you're <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so since combat broke out, I've just been furiously pouring through my books. Mm-hmm. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> <It all sucks. laughs> he's been he's in a trance. <laughs> I was I was politely letting other people talk. Mm-hmm. Throat gets a little gummed up when you're not speaking, all right? You gotta clear it all out. Perhaps a quaff of real ale would hurt, help you. No, actually, it's the opposite. Oh. Drinking beer just kind of oh. flummy. 
Anyway, uh, so I I bolt up. Uh, I go, oh, because I stood up too fast. And then I <laughs> recompose myself. I'm like, I found it! And then I like slam my hand down on my book and it like opens up. And the pages rustle. And then I'm like, uh, uh, the power of education compels you to fall asleep. And I like cast it generically towards the woods where I saw the arrows come out of. You're not even choosing. Oh, you're just. Oh, it's, it's an area of effect spell? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, um, so, roll not the main D. Wait, so. I don't think there's a roll it's for called this. sleep, right? I think they just have a, a uh, like a saving throw against it. Yeah, so they're saving. What's what's the save against it? Was there like a default thing? It was like 13 or something? Um, I don't know, Spool. We've never done this before. I just, well, I just remember from last time where you guys said it after the fact. Yeah. Uh, spell sends a creature in a magical slumber. Roll 5d8. Total time many hit points a creature the spell can affect. Um, <clears throat> I don't see any. You know what, I'm going to say that their, their, um, their save is constitution. That seems like it should be constitution. Yeah. So uh, go ahead and uh, roll your attack and see if you... Oh, I guess, yes. I need to I roll just roll 5 to yeah, I need to roll uh, to save. Where's my d10? So, right, yeah. No, it's not a d10, I'm sorry. Yes, d20. So I need to roll a save. They do not save, so they um, fall asleep. Cool. Oh, no, don't need me to roll. And how long does this last for? No. Uh, one minute. Okay. They're asleep for right now. They, they, uh, in the woods, the people who can't see them, you can hear, like, uh, two fairly, not super heavy bodies, like, collapsing into the leaves. Are you telling me the bodies are hitting the floor? Uh, yes, the bodies hit the floor, and, and a soft snore uh, permeates the woods. Are you letting the bodies hit the floor? Uh, Adam! <laughs> no, that was one action, Joel. What are you trying to do? You, you stood up. Standing up from a sitting position is a Ooh. movement. Ooh. And I also discovered that uh, you can't do two, you can move and do an action, or do two moves, but you can't do two I didn't actions. think so either. Yeah. But I only fired my longbow once. Oh, well. What do you want to move? Never mind, doesn't you, matter. You can move if you want. It's all good, let's go. All right. <laughs> Oh, so I'm up? Yeah, you're up. Okay, so purple guy's damage. Metal dude's not doing much. Which one am I closest to? Batman. You, closest you're, to Batman? You're, you're right next to them. I mean... <laughs> Do I fight my hero? <laughs> Confront your demons. <laughs> uh, his, his, his goblin... His name in goblin is uh, Batman. Bat, <laughs> Bat, Batman. Batman the goblin. Please no jokes. Um, okay, so I have a... <laughs> I have a great axe. Uh... That's a da, 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 da. yeah. That's so a I want to swing my great axe. Okay. Let's see. Roll to attack. Actually, how far are those goblins? How many feet? Don't throw. The swing at them. Roll over. I'm Black. curious. I'm, I'm curious. It these, these guys. <laughs> but it might work this time. How far are these guys or these guys? Axe is cool. Well, the, the the further guys. You just want to know. Throws his axe in the air. They're like. 20, 30 They're feet. asleep right now. Don't get in for the sleeping guys. You can get over. Get this, guys. Watch this. You can throw a javelin 30 feet. Yeah, that, so so what? You can, <laughs> if I can throw it 30 feet, it might not hit what I'm aiming for. Yeah, but you're not a swing warrior. Swing the axe. It's awesome. Yeah, swing the axe. Right. axe is cool. Kill Batman. All right. I go for Batman. Do, do what your character would do. Batman. I go for my great axe, and okay, I attack Batman. Batman the, the goblin. Uh, yeah, which uh, says damage type, uh, 1d12 plus 3 slashing. Alright, so, but you need to roll to see if it hits first. So, so d20? Yeah, d20, okay. and probably sh plus strength, and are you proficient, so... Uh, strength plus 3. So. Okay. Oh, come on, give me a 20. Come on, give me a 20. Is that a 1? It's a That's 12. 12. That's a 12. Cool. Um, <laughs> plus 3. There's plus, a glare on it. Plus yeah. 3 is your, um... Strength. Yeah, can I see your sheet? Because if you're proficient, let me see it. I can read. Well, I know, but I just want to Not see well. It. You couldn't. It's just a two digit number and you couldn't. There is a light <laughs> above us that is shining. So, <laughs> so all I can see is Adam, the one. It specifically says here that your attack bonus on your great axe is plus five. So, you yeah. actually, oh. your attack roll is worth 17 and you hit. Bahoom! So roll for damage. Do I cry a little bit? Uh, well, it depends on what happens when you attack. Uh, oh, yeah. This or when you, damage? Well, what does the da what does the damage it says say? Right next to the plus five on the axe. Oh, 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 oh yeah, sorry, sorry. One d twelve. Yes. Uh, yeah. So that was the correct die. Yes. So roll the hex die. Bye. One d twelve plus. One d what? Oh, plus three. three. Sorry. Plus three. Three, three slashing. Okay. okay. <laughs> what does that matter? <laughs> uh, it, 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 no. In this Different case, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Should I? Certain armors have proficiency against damage. Should I? Th should I throw the javelin? Throw the die. Yes. Roll the dice. I healed you to kill things. We're running out of time. Ten. Holy shit. Oh, so God. you do 13 damage. Boom! Oh, um, split him in half. <laughs> this previously <laughs> unharmed goblin. 
who, who's hit you. He's hit you. His previously unharmed goblin. Um, again, you have to remember that these turns are taking place like very quickly, right? Yeah. And so he's Feels like it. still kind of following through on his swing against you. Okay. As he follows through on his swing, oh, no. you immediately react and fucking, like, the goblin looks up only... Oh, and, and we'll find out oh, next no! time. Oh, no! The goblin looks up to realize that his head is no longer on his body. Oh, it was such wait, a perfect he, clean cut. Oh, so his, 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 oh. his eyes are staring Yeah, his body. eyes are staring are up. Are those then, my nipples? And then as it as his head like sort of <laughs> rotates around, he looks down, still vaguely cognizant, to see his headless oh. fucking body oh, slowly damn. falling to the ground. Maybe he's oh. upside down. I feel, I feel kind of bad. Blood splurts all over your tunic. Uh, or whatever Sweet. the fuck you're wearing. You scream. Ah! Yeah, so, do, so, so <laughs> Adam, you do, weep. do you cry? I shed a tear of joy. Okay. <laughs> he is dead. That's okay. an experience okay. spray. Going? I then go to the woods and masturbate. Uh, holy shit, that was a lot of damage. Alright, roll Luke Duffin. I'm gonna use up all your damage. You Adam, your turn. That's not how it's your turn. Um, so, all right, so how many goblins are left? So you have this one is still active. These two are asleep. Got it. All right, so there's the one, one active. Purple one's injured though, right? No, the yeah, one, oh, yeah, the purple one. He hit it. Yeah, he's, he's a little injured. So I'm looking at spells. Do I have to choose the domain and then go. No, no, just domain. just choose one of the spells you that's on the list. Okay. Um, it, it, it should say in your play? character sheet, Bruce, which spells it recommends for you. Well, I know. Yeah, the prepared spells you can pick from the book. That's why. Okay. Oh, and when it says book, it means but like your like like your spell. Like, hey, let's do can't cast time everything. to pet. <laughs> right. I know. If you wanna, if you wanna be like at the very back of the book, there's I'm, like cleric spells. I'll right? do yeah. uh, I'll do charm person, um, and I will cast this spell on the last goblin who's still fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, and it's you attempt to charm a human eye to choose within a range. Let's see here. Charm creature regards you as a friendly acquaintance. So, oh, um, if you get it. If I get it, right. So, uh, that, oh, yeah, wow. It doesn't matter. Well, I guess What'd you say? Cleric technically can't cast that. It says right here. I'm looking at the... Yeah, yeah I know. No. That's the list of all spells. Don't don't worry about that. What, what says... No, what he's looking under cleric yeah. stuff. What? I'm absolutely looking under cleric stuff. Charm person? All right. Whatever. What is it? It's fine. Just keep in mind, though, that, like... Hard. It's first, oh. first level. No, whatever. All right. So, I, so, you, uh, so you roll to charm him. Um, I would assume that's a constitution yeah, right. save. It, is, is there an attack roll for that, or...? Um, uh, it says... You it's one room versus fun. Can I just say that... It has to make adjusting his glasses, 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 glasses from behind a D&D manual <laughs> is, like, almost... <laughs> the envy or Facebook meant to be. profile. So it has no. a wisdom save. Alright, that's fine. Okay. No, it just says, cast time on action, range 30 feet, complete... Uh, uh, change uh, you'll be sorry to hear that he resists your charm. No! Roll! But there's no attack roll. Yeah. It's just, he has, he has to do a saving throw. He, he but there's got to be a modifier, himself. right? Like, there's got to be some way that you're better at casting. Yeah, well, oh, absolutely. Your, at your spell casting proficiency is what, two or three? Uh, where do you, where do you, mm. do you wisdom? Yeah, my wisdom is three, it's, plus three. Yeah. It's on another he page. Unfortunately resists. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, right. You can yeah. move if you'd like to, move out of harm's way or something. Oh, um, yeah, sure, I'll get behind one of the horses. Okay. You're going to be over here. Along with the James, I think. Are you still? I'm, st I'm technically on the forward side of the horse. Gotcha. Um. All right, so the go it's the goblin's turn. Um, this guy will go first, uh, and he attacks Adam again. Oh, fucker. Well, he's right. You're right there. I'm also stealth. He didn't get freaked out by seeing another goblin undone as a creature. As a last one, Like, there's still air yeah, shooting out of the windpipe. <laughs> he doesn't know. He's in the heat of battle. He doesn't know that his two friends are asleep. No, not that. The one who got fucking... Well, they're yeah, goblins. Uh, I don't care. Man, he's just... Ah. I had a hell of a roll. Remember? Uh, he should pick up the decapitated goblin and use that. Uh, he, he tries to attack you and he misses. Nice. Sweet. These guys write that down. are asleep for one more turn. Uh, so they don't get to do anything, unfortunately, for them. So is one turn like 30 seconds? Uh, no, well, I mean, like, I'm, yeah, like, I'm, you know, just trying to move things along here. So like combat ended, they were still asleep. My turn? Fast. Yeah, yeah, James' turn. Uh, in a quick move, mm -hmm. I dart behind him. My short sword, Quack. put it to his neck, uh -huh. and then try and slash his throat. All right, Whoa. roll your Brutal. damage. I don't know if I want to be in a party. I'm sorry, roll your attack. It's not very sporty. Uh, attack is D20. Well, they, yeah. Again, they did shoot first. Hey, we're all in the yeah. woods having a good time. But I, I like this idea of like, go on an adventure with me, and he's like, ah! We did, we entered their homeland. <laughs> oh, so you roll a two? You roll a two. two. <laughs> uh -oh. All right, well. He's a vampire. He's uh, what? On, on, it, I, I, so basically what happened was, you didn't crit miss, but on, on your way around him, 
you sort of stumble Ooh. and you're you're a little just you're off balance and you're like it's getting <laughs> oh. and I was watching from the horse and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, spool your turn Ooh, okay um I'm going to bardic inspire for an attack roll what so you're helping or, somebody with an attack roll or Adam hey love nice. you too buddy All right. Adam killed someone already I'm gonna help him Doing, I'm doing good over here. So we gotta get that javelin throw going. Cool. Sing me, sing Adam a song of inspiration. Excellent. I call upon Adam to buff. I said, sing me. Use song, your, right? use your loot. I'm sing just rapping. Starting the song. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's, it's, it's got like a talking. Oh, it's got like yeah. a, it's a One, two, three, buff. <laughs> Wait, what's your name? <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Uh, it's Delvin. I'll, I'll sing you a mel- I'll do you a melody here. It's just green sleeves. <laughs> I know. Oh, Adam, this melody. <laughs> dearest Adam, I'm going to buff this Delvin guy because he's really tough. Oh, it rhymed. <laughs> nice. Oh, an accident. So, so he gets what for his next uh, attack roll? He gets one d six. He yeah, gets one, an extra d six. Okay. Right so on your next attack roll, yeah. add an additional. Do I have to roll oh, it? You roll it. Oh, I roll it. I thought he just gets the one d six. No, he well, you roll what that value is going okay. to be. For him. Otherwise, you'd be doing nothing but singing. So you get on your next attack roll an additional three. Sweet. I gotta make up for James's mistake. Um, oh, money out Pete, there. your turn. Or uh, oh, probles. Oh, probles. Oh, yeah. If you could take this guy out, I could. So I can. I can do a move and an attack. Move and attack. Okay. You gotta kill this guy. Okay. Or do whatever you want. I don't yeah, care. Yeah. Run him over with the cart. <laughs> <laughs> yes, miss. I don't even get to sleep again. Um, I mean, if we kill this dude, I'm trying to think because I can move and do something. Yeah. Uh, Getting off the cart will count as an entire movement for you, though, okay. because you have to jump down from the cart. Okay. <laughs> in that case, time. all right, I'm gonna stay in the cart and I'm gonna shoot the same, shoot at the same goblin. All right. Uh, roll your attack. D20. Kind of box of javelins next to <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah. Nice. No. That's a two. Oof. You miss. Dirty yeah. Two. <laughs> That first turn was so amazing. Alright, uh next Oh sorry. Oh, oh, my one of my two towers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Lawrence, <laughs> your turn. Alright. These two guys are asleep. This guy's you know, he's still kicking. Alright. Uh, I'm asleep again. I can't, I cast that spell. Oh. Uh, no, I guess it may be good. We gotta hurry up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna cast Magic Missile. Freeze him. <laughs> Freeze him. See what the fuck Murder is. him! It's all are. in the spellbook. I made six copies of the easily accessible spellbook. We with ran out of toilet paper, Joel. Joel, I don't understand what you're upset about. I have to look it up. I don't it's cast r- spells. It's literally right there. Yeah, it's right there. Instead of having to flip through the book every time, this is why I did it. He saved, he Are you saved. aware that I leave the book open to the spell so it's exactly the same thing? That's not true. Way? You just opened it. You just it opened it from order. being closed. Magic missile. He didn't leave it open. Yeah, yeah. Magic missile. Guess what? Magic missile. Are you fucking happy, Joel? I was on the page, but I'll use this instead. Because you wasted paper. So it's got a vocal and a somatic element. Yep. He should get a punishment for cursing God. Are you happy, God? My God, somebody else. Which one? The God Adam? Uh, dart deals 1d4 one D, one D plus 1 force to its target. Three glowing darts. I roll that three times. All right. Darts uh, all strike simultaneously. You can direct them to hit one creature or several. Is there an attack roll for this? It sounds like there's an attack roll for this. Mm, it's just a damage roll. It says you, you create three glowing darts of magic force. Each dart hits a creature of your choice within range that you can see. Our dart deals 1d4 plus 1 damage to its target. Uh, and who, who are, you, are you attacking the standing? Yeah, the one I can see. Yeah, okay. Um, go ahead. I'll roll. But I, I need to roll a constitution <laughs> saving throw, so I guess. you cast three all at the same guy? Or, um, or I can split them up if I want. I was gonna say you can split it up. Yeah, but I can't see the other ones, so it it hits. Yeah, yeah, right, it does. <laughs> so I'm like, look at man, we just we just roll a magic missile. All right, uh, so roll for damage. So one d four. Did you whistle and roll? Six plus one. That's seven on one of them. Three and it seems three. Interesting that you so twelve. He does thir- seven six. plus three plus three. Six plus three. Wait, yeah, seven plus three. Right. 14. 13. Uh, so, so snippy. Fucking do math. If Bruce casts whatever spell he wants, you're gonna nitpick me. <laughs> well, you, I, you do know more than, about D&D than I do. No, I don't. Uh, yeah. uh, Alright. So this this goblin's pretty, like, he's he's not, like, bloodied, as they say, but he's, like, he's not in great shape. Um, he could he could have survived this fight. Uh, unfortunately, what happens is 
uh, as he's like now just now realizing his friends he can't hear and these guys are dead and maybe he's alone. Ooh, Shit. super bonus bubble. And maybe he's alone. Uh, bolts come out of the fucking sky and laser him to fucking oh, death. No. Uh, he's real dead. <laughs> wow. Ooh, he's dead. Okay. Um, all right. Blood on him. Do we tune in next time? No, no. We we just need to finish this up real quick. Yeah. We got two asleep that are still there. I know. Yeah. SP. Um. I Adam, you your turn. Okay. Uh. So I move it's closer. Time, buddy. I move closer <laughs> to the, the sleeping. Horse. How do you move? And whatever no, stands well, no, do, you, do you move? Or, do you move around the horse or over the? Horse? I move Dang around that. the horse. Okay, so you can move to about the edge of the woods. Okay, how many feet am I away from both? Call it fifteen. Okay, oh. so I have fifteen feet. Dear God, coming out in birds. Okay, um, shit. That one went in my nose. Ah. So the best thing I can do right here is throw a jab. <laughs> it uh, seems like that's cut down, down a tree. Many other cut down a tree. The tree will fall on him and crush him. <laughs> Mr. DM? It will take you three turns to cut down the tree and you will get ah, broken by this. I'm just looking at him. Ah, ah, you ah, hard to cut soon you! Well, they're like sleeping. Gone. Gone. <laughs> if, well, listen, if you, uh, here's what I'll say. If you want to cut down the tree and you crit 20, that tree will fucking fall on them. Not worth it. Not worth it. Cut down the tree. You've already done it once. You've already done it once. You Delvin, can't, you can't strike lightning twice. Delvin notices a tree oh, that man. will fall perfectly oh. upon the tree. sleeping goblins. When I did this, I said we need to wrap up quickly. All right. All right, there's the tree. It's right, right above him. Right there. It has yeah. To be right. Well, it's got to be like, yeah, whatever. It's okay. Not to scale. Like that. Right. Okay. It has so to be one swipe though. Yeah, but my so D twenty. It doesn't make me a natural twenty. Because I got the no, plus. No, no, it does. Got, it has to crit. What? It has to crit. I got the plus six, right? It doesn't no, it doesn't matter. matter. Oh. It has to. You have to crit twenty in order for this to work. Okay. My buff is really okay. Good. My buff is literally worth cut down that tree. Let's see how bad this idea pans out. All right. Please crit one. Oh, so close. Nineteen. 18. Oh, oh god damn so, it. So Perfect you, falls on you. yeah, <laughs> like exactly. you take a massive chunk out of the tree. I do? Like a huge chunk out of the tree. <laughs> uh -huh. The tree is not in good shape. The tree- It's not bloody. <laughs> no, no, the tree is like, the tree, at maybe the slightest provocation will fall. Oh. Okay. You're, You're like, no watch story. this, boys! <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, that was, let's get up and shoot. Good him. use of our time, uh, Bruce. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, okay, that was a good call. All right, I'm going to use right my. Oh, fuck, I got to move. I'm going to move up to that same tree. I'm going to run up to the tree and I'm going to use my. Choice. Where are you? He's in the, my hand axe. Next on to it. the. Uh, the polar bear. He's right there. The little girl. The little girl. Oh, no, no. right one there. closest no, to there you, Joel. That one, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to move next to him. I see that the tree is about to fall, so I'm going to use my uh, my hand axe. Nice. Oh, all the credit. Way to go! All right, wait. All right, so. My, my hand axe is 1d6 one D, one D plus 2 slashing. All right, yeah. but yeah, but you had to roll an attack roll on the tree. Right. It's an so roll target. a d... What's that? It doesn't matter. You still no. have... I mean, oh, I guess it's still a skill win. check. It's a, stu it's a skill check. 14, and what's your strength modifier? Well, all right, so strength modifier two. is two. plus 2. It says attack bonus is plus 4. So which oh. one is it? Uh, it's like, it's it'd, be, it'd be plus 4. Because it's your, it's, your it's your strength plus your proficiency. Since you're proficient and it's 2 at level 1, right. so 2 plus 2 is 4. So it's... 14 plus 4 is 18. Okay. You hit the tree. Okay. Um, Should I roll for damage or no? No, the tree falls on them. Yes. Yeah. Now, wait, wait. Actually, cool. wait. Maybe that was awesome. Wait, maybe you do nice roll. Work, Good job, Bruce. Oh, man. You no guys problem, guys. Come yes. on. Actually, you roll for damage. Okay. Uh, is this 1d6 plus uh, No, two? no, it's gotta be tree damage. I'm going to say... Yeah, the weight of a tree <laughs> falling on a small tree tree. And I'm, maybe I'm, I mean, because I'm the DM, maybe I roll, roll for tree damage. Uh, they have an AC... What if okay. it's an Ent? And he's All like, right. OW, fucker. <laughs> All right. You murdered me. All right. There's uh, no way a tree could bounce off their arm. I'm saying the tree is true neutral. But they also, have, but you can branches. But you can figure out if a branch like impales someone or yeah, like, it maybe it's only for flavor. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, All right. So because this, the, the tree is falling, it's you know as it falls, like this side falls slow more slowly than this side. Mm -hmm. So this one, this one, like, gets hit, real bad, and it wakes him up immediately. Oh, but yeah. it, like, well, he's not dead. oh, he's every like every bone in his body is <laughs> broken, is but but his skull, and he's down to one hit point. Okay. This guy, the tree crits him, uh -oh. and as he wakes up, oh. he sees the remnant of the tree falling and 
just squishing his friend as his guts fly oh, everywhere. Oh, oh no! And, it's like and like smash in, a burrito in the middle and just shoots out a bullet. This <laughs> goblin's guts fly into this goblin's eye. Except for his arms are broken and he can't, can't wipe it off. We can, uh, we can interrogate him. Yeah, yeah, he's and so he's on his screaming in pain and he's cursing you in uh, goblish and in in common. Um, you're out of initiative. What do you do? What's real, real. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. So what does every what does everybody do? Do you guys want to hop down off the card? No, you guys? I'm gonna drop my spell. Answer our questions power. and we'll ease your pain. What? Oh, Answer no, our no, questions and we'll ease your pain. Are you trying that from here? Uh, yeah. once I run over. His here. response once is, we all... "Holy shit! I'm in so much pain." All right, so that means we have to help him. So does anybody have any ale? That would, would that kill him? That would like just. No, 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 like, like, maybe a medic could heal him. Well, I mean, like I'm I have I have a mess kit. Care, a mess kit is food. Is it? I thought yeah, give him like, food. That's what he wants. <laughs> he can't feel well, anything below his neck. We look hungry. Here's a sandwich. I have rations I think, and I like, a mess, mess No, I don't have that anymore. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a cleric. Mm -hmm. I can feel it, but I, but I just took my turn. I have raised no, crushes. You're, you're out of initiative. Around, it's fine. Like, oh, well. yeah, do you have, I mean, do you have a healing cantrip or something? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but he's going to die no matter what, isn't he? He can't get up, right? He's under that tree. He's not going anywhere. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Okay, okay. We can heal him. I have Ray of Frost. I can just freeze everything. He's not going anywhere. But as a character, he's I'm basically peeing myself in the cards. So. Yeah, and he's, so, he's underneath the tree. So it says, uh, Elder Cure Wounds, and it's the creature you touch gains a number of hit points equal to 1d8 plus your spellcasting ability modifier. Right. He just so, restored all my pain nerves! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> so roll a 1d8. Which one is that? It's the, the two-sided pyramid. Yeah. Nope. Max yeah. Diamond? That one, okay. And then plus your spellcasting, whatever? Yeah. Oh, okay. six plus six. what? Two or three? Where's where's spellcasting one? Uh, as a cleric, wisdom. It's supposed to be passive you, wisdom. Don't yeah, you? I think you're uh, wisdom. Plus three. So, oh, you actually heal him for a lot. You heal him for more than he's got. So you top him off. He's so like, what he's, he's, like strong, more, he's stronger than ever. So all of his bones, you watch <laughs> as like, you watch as his body like. But he would heal around the tree. It's like his wounds would close with bark inside of him. And now he's and here's the thing. Like now he's. Totally healed, but he just can't move. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and he's like, "What of my?" He says, "He says to y you, I guess, because you're you guys, you you, you and Adam are the closest." What of my companions? They're dead. You killed them. I didn't kill them. <laughs> uh... <laughs> That's exactly what Adam said. We... <laughs> Can you wipe the guts out of my eyes, please? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have blood still on your We chest. acted in defense, and we seek... Uh, what's his name? Gavelhorn? Uh, oh, no, Gundren. 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 So Tell us... You'll never find Gundren. We've taken him somewhere that you'll never find him. Where? I mean, what, why, why, why should I tell you? Uh, oh. I was going to say, I'll knock another tree on you, you asshole. Uh... Look, maybe some of you have some skills of persuasion or well, something. Do. do you know who I am? No. Oh. I'm a, a fucking bird. goblin. I don't oh. fucking care about... What are you? Are you a can human? I try, can I try charm person? I'm a human, yeah. Yeah. Because I have charm person. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what did we have to do for it? Uh, this is, this is, this is, you have to there. roll against it. You must, yeah. make a, must make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh no. no! All the secrets of the world are revealed. <laughs> It's just beer. <laughs> <laughs> He's got dice back there. Uh, so it's a it's a same uh, a wisdom. A wisdom saving throw. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> uh, where's He's still on. Um, still blinking. He actually. Yep. I think he actually was. Because I rolled level seventeen. I think he was oh, a wow. super charm. Ah, come on, guys. He's All got right. a tree. I run over there. I didn't get a roll over there. there. I put so, my short sword to his neck. Uh huh. And I have plus three charisma. To, to what are you trying to do? Are you trying to? I'm going to say, like, hey, buddy. if you know where they took them, you're gonna you're gonna take us there. He Would that be intimidating? He resists. He resists. I am holding a sword to his throat. Give him a little cut. It's a nick. I push it even closer. Oh, you do you do two damage, high, and he and and who has high intimidation? Because intimidation. Should we just keep do two damage to him now? And he's like, we have taken him. We have taken him to the Crag Mall hideout. Sexually. The Crag Mall? The Crag Mall hideout. I love that. Shopping! I have a Sanook store. A warren of caves and traps the likes of which you've never seen. Cut his throat! Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Um, well, no. We, we got leave. our experience. We're done here. Yeah, yeah, we, we, hey, we said we wouldn't kill him, right? Good luck with the uh, tree. You, you, uh, you managed to persuade him via violence to tell you where the secret path to the goblin hideout is, the goblin trail. Um, 
Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, hang on. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. That's my favorite trailer. Uh, I like going uh, to the, the goblin, he also says... What did I say his name was? Oh, this guy doesn't have a name. His name is... Um, Ow, my spine! His name is Dishpack. Uh, Dishpack. <laughs> Dishpack says... Uh, fewer than 20 goblins currently dwell at Crag Mall Hideout. Uh, their leader is a bugbear known as Clarg. He answers to King Grohl, chief of the Cragmall tribe, who dwells dwells in Cragmall Castle. Um, the, yeah, blah 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 blah. Oh, and he also tells you where Cragmall Castle is. It's different from Cragmall Hold. It's to the northeast in Neverwinter like Wood, which is this the area the here. Right. So you you discover that that that's like in the north to northeast, like kind of. Where that like lies, kind of? Is it wait uh, north? Uh, is this east? I can't. I'm upside down. This is west. Right, so yeah, so yeah, it is like here. -ish. Gotcha. Um, so we have to travel down the road. Uh, he also yeah, tells you that Clark has received a message, a messenger from King Clark is the bugbear in the Cragmall hideout mm -hmm. where they've taken. Yeah. I think he's Gundren. like the boss. Yeah. Um, uh, the messenger says that someone named the Black Spider was paying the Cragmalls to watch out for the dwarf Gundren Rock Seeker to capture him and send him anything he was carrying back to King Grawl. Clug followed his orders. Gundren was ambushed and taken along with his personal effects, including a map. How dare you! And the dwarf and the map, oh, were actually delivered to King Grawl in this castle right here. The dwarf's human companion is being held in the Eating Cave. Eating um, delicious. Eating. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> so, uh, adventure. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, yeah. We're not actually probably going to continue this uh, adventure because our next time we do this will hopefully be with our original characters in our original campaign. Don't worry, we're going to go into that crag mall and wipe them all out. Yeah. 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 We would like to oh, thank will we? Specular Theory That's for the amazing good. 360 awesome camera. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we'd like to thank Hero Forge for our custom designed uh, giant figs and mini figs. Sure. And thanks to Joel for desk. being a Marvel's all. purveyor of fans and entertainment. <laughs> um, and thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll do this again very soon. Bye, -bye. Bye guys. It's got the little little clit nubbin. Regardless, Apple didn't have the infrastructure to build out a cellular cellular network, so they had to partner with someone. Mm -hmm. And even when they first when they put the first uh, phone, they um was it they were only with AT and T. Like it took a while like yeah. for them to do this. But it's funny because if you look at the steps in which they're going, Apple's going to be a mobile carrier soon. Google's already doing it. Mm, they're just piggybacking true. off. It's, it's just going to be. You're going to buy a network. Probably they have enough money that they well, could. Well, I mean, so Google's technically already doing that. With five. Oh, that's true. Uh, they're called, but they're well, yeah. Caller, thank you for yeah, yeah. Uh, reinforcing stereotypes. I really appreciate uh, it. Bruce, you're so rude. And um, the you have to be. It's uh, this is the way it works.